our first Christmas, we decided we would go dig up a tree. We didn't want to cut it down. We wanted to dig it up. Wanted a live tree. Wanted and the yard tree. needed it. We didn't have much in that yard. And so we dug this tree up and had a big, huge dirt ball on it. And uh, we had a big uh, galvanized wash pail uh, that we put it inside and with burlap and everything else. And we kept it watered throughout the Christmas season. And, of course, it was decorated with lights and all the ornaments and everything. And we actually named it Chubbs because mm -hmm. it was short and chubby. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after Christmas, uh, we t took it outside and I thought, well, you know, there's nothing in the corner of the yard. I'll just plant it right here. And so we dug a hole, planted it in the ground and came back 37 years later. And the tree that was four foot 10 is now close to 40 feet. <laughs> and, and that's, that's the tree that's in the corner of the yard. We really began our married life there. And, um, our first, our oldest child was born while we lived in that house, Joseph. Uh, he was born in 1981, so uh, we had um, a grandson born. Our third grandson was born in, back in September. And I was at the window in the kitchen texting my sister uh, about William's birth and the time and the weight and the length and all those uh, statistics that you're supposed to know. <laughs> and uh, as I was texting her, I realized that 37 years earlier, I had been standing over that same sink with my elbows on the same counter, looking out the same window, uh, calling my mother and father uh, to tell them that Joseph, uh, the grandson's father, had, had just him. been born. And so that was, that, was pretty, that was pretty cool to come full circle and be right back in the same spot uh, uh, thinking about the memory.